So a lot of my students uh, do math problems and they can't get them involving like distance between two points or the midpoint between two points. They're like, hey, I just didn't know the formula. And I'm usually like, well, you don't need a formula for those two things. Let me show you what I mean. Let's say I have a couple points. Let's say point number one is negative two, seven. I'm just making these up at random. Then the next point is three, I don't know, 14. So my first step is I'm going to draw a coordinate axis here, or axes, I guess. And I'm just going to kind of sketch out what I think these points are. I don't really have to get super accurate here because that takes a while and I don't want to, you know, spend a ton of time doing this. So that's negative 2, 7. Let me just label it negative 2, 7. I'm actually going to make this 3, negative 14 just because I don't want to have to go up here somewhere. So let's say this is 3, uh, negative 14. And I'm going to attempt to freehand draw a line. I know, guys, it's a terrible line, but just bear with me. Like, so pretend that I'm. those are my points. This is 3, negative 14. So my question to you is, don't use the distance formula. Can you figure out the distance between these points? Well, sure. All you really have to do is make a right triangle. So again, the drawing not so great, but you can kind of see that that's a right triangle there, right? And you should be able to tell me, just by counting, what the distance is in the x direction between these two points. Because notice we're going from negative 2 in the x direction to 3. And if you think about it, that is a total of 5 in the x direction. So this leg of the triangle is 5. Now, you th I think you might get the picture. What about the y direction? Well, we're going from 7 all the way down to negative 14. So that looks like it's going to be a y direction of 21. Now, to get the distance, the thing I asked you for initially, all we really have to do is do the Pythagorean theorem. So remember the Pythagorean theorem for a right triangle. It's a squared plus b squared. Those are the legs. They're going to equal c squared, c being the hypotenuse. So let's do that. 21 times 21 is 441. 5 times 5 is 25. So 441 plus 25 is 466. So c squared would be 466. So a squared, we said, is 441. b squared is 25. That equals 466 to c squared. So if c squared equals 466, c itself will be the square root 466. Like I said, I made up these numbers at random. They're not very pretty numbers. But there's the distance, root 466. So what about if I had asked you, hey, what do you think the midpoint is of the line between these two points? Well, you could use the midpoint formula, but again, it's really easy if we just count our way over. Start with the point that is leftmost, this guy. And think about it. How far do we travel in the next direction? We already know the answer. Five. What is the midpoint of this journey in the x direction? 2.5. So if you think about it, from this point, the midpoint is going to be in the x direction, 2.5 to the right. So we would do negative 2 is the you know, x coordinate of that initial point, plus 2.5. So that would be 0.5 for the x coordinate of the midpoint. And then for the y, th the y direction, same thing. We know we're traveling a total of 21. So half of 21 is going to be 10.5, right? So if you think about it, in the y direction, we're traveling a journey of 10.5 to get to the midpoint of our y travels. I know that's kind of corny, y travels. But if we think about it, then we're going to start at 7, and we're going to go down 10.5. So it's going to be 7 minus 10.5, and I believe that that is negative 3.5. So the midpoint of these, of this line, the diagonal, should be 0.5 comma negative 3.5. And you can kind of see for yourself sometimes if you're not sure, like, hey, did I screw up? You can kind of graph the point and kind of take a, you know, shot at sort of estimating. And if it looks like the midpoint, that's kind of a good sign. So just so, so you know, nice situation um, where you don't really need formulas. You can find the distance between those two points and their midpoint all just by counting.